So now on iOS 16, you can end a call using Siri. Just say, hey Siri, hang up while you're on the call and your assistant will do the rest. While this is a convenient and hands-free way to end a call, it is recommended to use it with caution as the caller on the other end will be able to hear exactly what you are saying and some might think that you are being rude. She hung up on me. <laughs> but what is not rude is the ability to restart your iPhone by just saying, hey Siri, reboot or restart. When Siri asks for confirmation, reply with a yes and that's it, your iPhone will restart. At number three, disable lock to end call. So one of the complaints I had with iOS 15 was, whenever I am on a call, if I press the lock button accidentally, my call would end. It is so annoying. But with iOS 16, I can disable this feature completely. By opening the settings app, go to accessibility, select touch, toggle off lock to end call. So finally, no more accidental end calls. At number four, easily delete contacts. You can now simply tap and hold on a particular contact to delete it. That's it. By the way, if you have the habit of deleting messages like I do and then happen to require them at a later point in time, you can always recover the deleted messages by simply opening the messaging app, select the recently deleted folder, select the chat you want to recover and that's it. One really cool thing about iOS 16 is that Siri is smarter. Just tell Siri heart emoji and Siri will do the rest. It's that simple. Another cool feature is pin Safari tabs. So to pin your tabs, just long press the URL bar in the Safari and choose the pin tab option. Your tabs are pinned and now you can easily access all your tabs in one place. Another great feature in iOS 16 is ability to merge duplicate contacts. So if you have more than one contact card for the same person, your iPhone will automatically detect the duplicates and let you know that duplicates were found. You can choose to ignore it or you have the ability to merge it. And this same duplicate detection is carried over to the photos. To do that, open the photos app, go to the album section, scroll down and select duplicates. Tap merge. Confirm your selection by tapping merge duplicates. So finally, we can use face ID in landscape mode, making it easier to unlock iPhones when it is not held in standard portrait orientation. This feature is limited to iOS 13 and later. Nevertheless, it's a great addition. By the way, did you know you could simply use your device face ID, touch ID to lock a note? And to do that, just open the notes app, tap and hold the note you want to lock. Select lock note and then tap on use iPhone passcode. Another great feature on iOS 16 is the ability to enable haptic feedback on the keyboard. So to do that, go to settings, go to tap sounds and haptics, select keyboard feedback and toggle on haptic. So next you can add a quick note to control center. So what makes this a useful feature is its ability to let you start taking notes from anywhere on your device. So whenever you are interested on some ideas, you can simply use the quick notes. So here how to add quick notes to your control center. First open the settings app on your iPhone and select control center. Under the more control section, find quick note and tap the green button next to it. That's it. The quick note icon will be now showing up in the control center. Now bring up the control center on your iPhone, then tap the quick note icon and you are good to go. Apart from these amazing features, iOS 16 has some privacy features as well. You need to authenticate with Face ID or Touch ID before the hidden and recently deleted photo albums can be accessed. So this actually locks these albums from anyone's view, should someone have your device. Next, you can check and share Wi-Fi passwords. And to do that, go to the settings, tap Wi-Fi, Select the I button at the end of the connected network. On the next screen, tap password. Tap copy to share the password. Another cool feature in iOS 16 is that you can get your translations done directly from the camera app. So to do that, just open the camera app and point it at the text you want to translate. Tap on the text selection button in the app and then choose the translate option to get an instant translation. Apart from that, with iOS 16, you can create stickers from images and share these stickers with other applications. So making stickers is really easy. Just open the Photos app, select the image you want to create a sticker, tap and hold the image. And now you can copy the image and paste it as a sticker in iMessages or any other service you want to share with. Next, one of the most important things that happened to iOS 16 is the ability to, to skip CAPTCHA. I know it is godsend. And to enable it, go to the Settings app, then tap on the Apple ID, go to Password and Settings, and then turn on Automatic Verification. And next, you can copy and paste your photo edits to multiple photos. So if you have edited any photo and you want to apply them to multiple photos, 
with the same edit. Just open photos and select the edited image. Tap on the three dots at the top right side. Tap on copy edits. Go to the image you want to paste the edit and tap the three dots at the top right. Tap paste edits and you are done. Now the same edit is being applied to the selected image as well. And now if you want to know how to edit photos on your iPhone, then click on this video which explains in simple steps how to edit a perfect photo. And I'll see you there.